a special topic uh, that has been selected for the special lecture today the origin of tropical cyclone over bay of bengal there has always been a question or a comparison between the bay of bengal and the arabian sea which one of the seas is more prone to the formation of tropical cyclone first of all i want to make very very clear that bay of bengal portion is that area which is characterized by the higher frequencies of tropical cyclone origination compared to the arabian sea portion in this special lecture i am going to discuss about the cause causes mechanisms of the origin of tropical cyclone over the bay of bengal first of all uh, we want to know about what the tropical cyclone is actually tropical cyclones actually represent a closed low pressure system with a diameter ranging between 8 and 400 km the diameter sometimes may may be less than 80 km and sometimes also the diameter may become more than 400 km but more importantly the air moves towards the center in an anti clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and in clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere the term cyclone actually originated in kolkata because henry peddington of east india company in the late 19th century after a deep discussion with the contemporary british sailors named these sea storms of indian ocean and adjoining seas as cyclones basically the cyclone is a greek word which means coiled snake there is a map Uh, or there is a diagram which is actually showing the three cells headless cell mid latitude cells these are the mid latitude cells and the polar fond cells these three cells have been shown in the diagram and there are the wind patterns wind system the direction of the winds have been shown and in the left side there is representation of the different seasons okay first of all uh, it is very much important to discuss the weather condition of the equatorial trough area the equatorial trough is popularly known or widely known as doldrum area the area this area or the doldrum area is usually characterized by its light and variable wind the surface setting difference and the orographic effect may cause the development of thunderstorm in this region so this region is known for its thunderstorm mechanism process okay local rain and squalls may also occur in this area the convergence within the equatorial trough initiates widespread cloud formation and precipitation the trough of the cumulonimbus and cumulus cloud spread out at higher levels and form sheets of alto stratus and cirro stratus cloud in this region the thunderstorm occur in the convergence cells and the rain develops from also the alto stratus clouds okay and this area from 5 degree north to 5 degree south is also widely known as the itc jet or the intertropical convergence zone without knowing the basic weather pattern weather and the meteorological situation in the itc jet it will be very very difficult to discuss the origination of the tropical cyclone over this bay of bengal portion okay now the condition of the itc jet when the trade wind system of each level trade wind system of each level meet in a narrow zone meet in a narrow zone convergence occur on a grand scale so there is a convergence occurs in a grand scale this is known as itc jet as i have told earlier in general the two trade wind system 
means the northeast and the southeast trade wind system these two trade wind systems are separated by a wild dole drum area wide dole drum area this area actually separates the northeast and the southeast trade wind okay in some regions the northeast and southeast trade winds approach each other and converge okay this portion uh, i am going to tell that in some regions the northeast and southeast trade winds approach each other and converge this is the convergence zone okay the itcj produces extremely bad weather condition over a wide area so the itcj is known for the generation of bad weather condition okay and the other part of the concept is that this itcj is also known as the convergence zone it is also very very clear and in this tropics the temperature gradient is low the frontal activities are not generally developed due to low temperature gradients widespread cloud development and rain frequently occur in this area this itcj area low level convergence in a depression or trough forces the air to ascend leading to cloud development and precipitation this process is accelerated if the divergence takes place in the upper troposphere i am going to tell this portion again this process is accelerated if the divergence takes place in the upper troposphere so this this point is highly significant in case of the origin of tropical cyclone over any parts of the world i am going to the next slide and now we have to discuss the major features of the tropical cyclone the tropical cyclone basically originate between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn its diameter may range between 80 km and 300 km sometimes the diameter may be less than 80 km and sometimes the diameter may be greater than or more than 300 km and the first point i am going to discuss in detail uh, the tropical cyclone basically originates between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn it means 23 and half degree north and 23 and half degree south from 5 degree north to 5 degree south this area doesn't provide an ideal condition for the genesis of tropical cyclone because in this portion the value of coriolis parameter or coriolis force is negligible the wind velocity in the case of the, this is the third point the wind velocity in the case of weak cyclone may become 32 km or maybe less than that and in the case of hurricane sometimes the velocity may become more than 200 km also the cyclones are more vigorous over the sea but when it comes over the land surface it becomes weak and feeble because there is no ample supply of the moisture okay tropical cyclone are not characterized by temperature difference because in the case of tropical cyclones fronts do not form tropical cyclones are not always mobile sometimes they remain stationary on a particular place and produce heavy rainfall which may cause flood tropical cyclone is also widely known for producing storm surge because it is characterized by high wind speed and high rainfall intensity now the now favorable conditions for the origin of tropical cyclone over bay of bengal the first point is that the continuous supply of abundant warm and moist air in the bay of bengal portion provides the ideal condition for the origin of tropical cyclone over bay of bengal and the another factor is that the presence of warm ocean water surface uh, ocean water the the temperature of the sst or sea surface temperature in the case of bay of bengal portion is 27 degree c and more than that if we go to go to the uh, andaman sea portion the sea surface temperature may sometimes become higher than 30 31 and 32 33 degree c even 
it may be greater than 34 degrees C. So, the basic condition for the origin of the tropical cyclone is fulfilled. The third point is that the pre-existing weak tropical disturbance over the Bay of Bengal portion, there are numerous weak tropical disturbances which also promote the origin of tropical cyclone over Bay of Bengal. Next, the existence of anticyclonic condition is regarded as the as one of the most important factors for the origin of tropical cyclone because if the anticyclonic condition is not present it would not help to converge the air on the oceanic surface going to the next slide not all the portion of the bay of bengal it is actually the andaman sea which is more prone to the origin of tropical cyclone why it is because of three factors high sea surface temperature uh, because as i have mentioned earlier in the case of andaman sea portion the sea surface temperature may sometimes become higher than 30 degrees c 31 degrees c 32 degrees c okay and there is no major river which is joining with the andaman sea the third portion is the landlocked nature this factor is also important because the Andaman Sea is landlocked. In such a landlocked position, there is greater difference between the land and the sea surface temperature. This greater difference of the land and the sea surface temperature is also ideal for the genesis of tropical cyclone over this Bay of Bengal portion. Now I am discussing about the sequential conversion. In the case of sequential conversion, in the case of tropical cyclone, there are actually five stages low pressure depression deep depression cyclonic storm severe cyclonic storm first of all the low pressure system is actually developed in the case of andaman sea and there is further intensification of pressure and it becomes depression further intensification of pressure helps depression to become deep depression and there is further intensification of pressure further intensification of pressure means the pressure declines within the center and it becomes cyclonic storm so cs and if there is further intensification of pressure or further falls in the isobaric value it becomes severe cyclonic storm now there is a sequential conversion from low pressure to scs and there is a diagrammatic representation First of all, there is a low pressure system developed in the Andaman Sea, adjacent to the Andaman Sea portion because of the high SST, it becomes depression, deep depression, CS and SCS. In every stages in the conversion, um, the pressure within the center of the system falls and ultimately it becomes SCS. After its formation, after the formation of low pressure center, in which direction it will move is governed by the SST and the rotation of the earth and the next portion which is also very very important that is the mean sea level pressure and the streamlines the mean sea level pressure and the stream streamlines without knowing this basic factors it would also be impossible to discuss the origin of tropical cyclone in the bay of bengal portion near the equator as i have mentioned earlier near the equator portion the coriolis effect is negligible okay the wind flow is strongly regulated by local effects and friction in this area as a result large cross isobaric components are observed towards the equatorial trough when the wind enters the southern hemisphere the coriolis force increases with the increase in latitude Okay, but the direction of the deflection is reversed, but um, the trade wind changes it into equatorial australis when it crosses the equator on their way towards the center of equatorial trough. So in this regard, the mean sea level pressure and streamlines is very, very significant. I'm going to the next slide. There is a weather map there is a weather map uh, the first weather map is representing the date of 13th october 1985 and there is a genesis of low pressure system 
in the Andaman C portion and the isobaric value at the center is 1006. On 14th October 1985, the low pressure system has changed into deep depression and the isobaric value becomes 1002. So here there is 1006 and in this case the isobaric value becomes 1002. So there is further intensification of pressure or there is decline in the isobaric value and it becomes deep depression. On 14th, uh, sorry, on 15th October 1985, it becomes CS and there is further decline in the isobaric value. It becomes SCS. Landfall occurs on 16th October 1985. After that, the cyclone will dissipate. Okay. There is uh, there is five, four isobaric profiles, um, which is actually showing low pressure, deep depression, CS and SCS. The line actually indicates the isobaric value. On 13th October, the position of the isobaric value is in such a condition. On 14th October, the isobaric value actually falls. On 15th October, it means CS, the isobaric value is such. And after the landfall, the isobaric value is in a such condition okay so in the uh, from 13th october to 15th october um, there is fall of isobaric value and on 16th october after the landfall the isobaric value further increases and after that the cyclone will dissipate and this is very important uh, because uh, this map actually is showing the number of cyclones and depressions striking the coastal belts the data is from 1891 to 2017 it is actually showing that this portion is representing the highest number of cyclones and depressions the longitude is approximately 87 degree east and it is slightly greater than 20 degree 21 degree north latitude this portion or this portion of the Indian coastal land is highly vulnerable uh, because the number is 112. The data is from 1891 to 2017. Seven, uh, and the source of the data is of course from the IMD official website. There is trend of SCS during post monsoon. One thing we must remember that the cyclones, the tropical cyclones actually originate during two seasons one is pre-monsoon it means march april may and in the case of post monsoon it means october and november these five months are very very important for the coastal belts because in these five months the tropical cyclones actually originate over the seas and the oceans the study actually shows that the post monsoon scs the trend is showing that the trend is showing a rising nature it is the um, post monsoon trend of the SCS over the Bay of Bengal portion. And the trend of SCS during pre monsoon, it is not showing a particular trend, either it may be increasing or decreasing, but it is not showing a general trend. But the trend is actually a representing a slightly increasing trend. Okay, and the next part is that uh, trend of SCS from January to December. Um, there is also a slightly rising trend. Now the total number of cyclones crossing different coasts. Uh, the highest number is attained by the uh, state Orisha. The total number is 98 from 1891 to 2000. That is the total number of cyclones crossing different coasts. Orisha is in the rank one position and then Andhra Pradesh third West Bengal 69. Now the district wise study um, the heading of the table is the classification of cyclone prone districts the three states which is meeting with the Bay of Bengal portion one is Orisha, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. 
uh, in the case of total number of severe cyclones south chubish parguna is in rank one position and then in the rank, rank two there, there is nilur and mednipur total number of cyclones it was total number of severe cyclones it is total number of cyclones in that case also south chubish parguna is in rank one position the data is from the imd official website so that was the presentation about the origin and mechanism of tropical cyclone over bay of bengal and in the next video we will going to discuss about the origin of monsoon over the indian subcontinent thank you